Hello and welcome to Courtside Sports. Today we're checking out Yonex's all new V Core Pro line as well as Wilson's Blade V8s. All right, so what's new with the V-Core Pro line? Well, they've thickened up that beam a little bit, up from a 20 millimeter to a 21 millimeter, but they kept that stiffness down, so it should be very plush. Now, the main goal with thickening that beam was to retain stability, especially throughout the string bed. Um, so sometimes with those thinner beams, you're gonna be getting a little bit of extra flex or instability feeling outside the sweet spot that's why sometimes they're referred to as unforgiving but the goal here was to boost up that forgiveness a little bit but by keeping the flex down we're making sure we get that amazing v core pro impact feel that we know and love now with the blade v8s there hasn't been a ton of changes. We've gone from the technology standpoint from the feel flex up to a 45 degree weave. Um, to me, what this feels like is a little bit of a firmening up of the layup to give you a little bit more of a direct feeling response and a little bit more power. On the swing weight side, things have decreased. So that is to make it more friendly for a wider range of users. So we're seeing a trend here. Both the Blade and the V-Core Pro are going a little bit more for that forgiveness, a little bit more for every type of player trying to stay relevant to today's super high-paced, quick action, modern game. So what I love about both of these lines is they give you a lot of choice. So whether you go with the V-Core Pro 97, the V-Core Pro 97D, or the V-Core Pro 97H, you're gonna have a slew of different weight choices and string pattern choices. Similarly, with the Blade V8, like it's been for many years, we can choose between an 1820 or a 16 by 19. So I wanna talk about how we make that choice, how to know when you go for a dense string pattern like the 97D and an 1820 or more open, blade 16 by 19. Let's start off with the 16 by 19. This is the most common string pattern um, and it offers two big benefits. One is a little bit easier access to spin and the next is a little bit more forgiveness and easier depth. So first let's talk about how that extra spin is achieved. So a little bit fewer strings in the string bed means less overall friction in the string bed. When you combine that with polyester strings, um, that should free up the snap back motion that you get um, when the ball impacts the strings, pushes them down, but then the energy in the strings um, snaps back into place and puts spin onto the ball. So from that perspective, we can see a slight boost in spin potential on the 1619 over the 1820. Um, the other bonus that it has is easier access to depth. So fewer strings mean a little bit of a lower string bed stiffness overall. So you're gonna get more of um, a trampoline effect or a slingshot effect where the ball sinks into the string bed and shoots out. Um, that will happen at a higher angle when you have a lower string bed stiffness. Um, so a no more open pattern or lower tension. Um, so that should give you easier access to depth as well. Not necessarily higher ball speed, but definitely a little bit higher of a launch angle. Now these both sound like great benefits. Why would we even want to consider an 18 by 20? Well, a flatter hitter may have problems keeping the ball in the court if they're hitting big and hitting out on their strokes. So having that lower launch angle from the denser pattern can help rein things in and keep that aggressive player in control of their shots. I also find the denser string patterns to feel more consistent throughout the string bed, meaning 
I can predict what's gonna happen off that string bed, and I'm less likely to see the ball launching out of the court unexpectedly. This predictability and lower launch angle can be great on things like backhand slices and volleys, where you really want to keep the ball lower in the court. So how does this translate to performance on court? Now with the Vcore Pro 97D, I found huge confidence being aggressive in the court. Um, sometimes with my forehand, I tend to push it long when I'm approaching and coming into net, but I knew that a denser string pattern would force me to hit through the ball and use as much power as possible. Further on slices, if I could always trust the racket to keep the ball low. The downside with this, especially for my game, is with kick serves. I really need the higher launch angle and the easier access to depth on my kicks because I sometimes struggle to get enough height over the net for the kick serve to penetrate and not be easily attacked. In contrast, the 16 by 19 blade, it's a little bit lighter, it swings really fast compared to the previous version. I found it was super easy to use on a serve. The more open string pattern gives you a lot of access to spin on the serves. On my forehand, I loved it, especially when I was getting pushed back. So defense is something I really noticed a big difference between the two blades, the 1619 and the 1820. With the 16 by 19, I could really use a lot of topspin and height over in that to buy myself time while on defense. Whereas with the 1820, uh, it was harder to work my way back in the point. I had to use a lot of extra effort to get that depth. Um, so I found myself just trying to get ahead in the point a little bit sooner. So in general, if you find yourself to be a more aggressive player who likes to get up in the court and maybe hits a bit flatter, you should really give these denser string patterns a try. On the other hand, if you rely on spin and you like to mix it up with lots of height over the net and when you're a pusher like me basically, that more um, open string pattern may really be favorable and help your game out. Um, so if you have any other questions about either the Blade V8s or the V-Core Pro line or any of the other awesome rackets that have just come out or are on their way out, you can DM us on Instagram at Courtside Sports. Give us a call into the store. Comment on YouTube here, give us a like, a subscribe as well, it always helps. And for the best shopping experience, hit up www.courtsidesports.com.